Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back into uh, Otram's YouTube channel. Today we're going to do uh, the bane of every 80 series owner's existence, uh, seat gears um, in an 80 series Land Cruiser. We've got our replacement plastic gears from uh, Gamma Viti. Um, so we're going to start, we've already pulled the seats out. Before you pull them out, make sure that you tilt the front of the seat all the way up with the side switch because you need to get to these two screws that are in the front panel. Um, so I guess we'll start there and take those two screws out. And then to get the seat out, it's just this one plug and uh, the four bolts in the bottom. So we've got those guys out. And then you don't necessarily have to take these back plastic mounts out. I like to just so that I don't break them putting the uh, screws back in. So we'll take those out, set them over here, find the screw I dropped. Same for this bottom one. Grab a tray. Thank you, beautiful assistant crash. Then we can go ahead and grab a 12. And take these loose of the seat bracket. Like that. And then there's also a pair on the front. Adjusted those. It's been a while since I've done one of these. So we're going to grab this shaft, not on the threaded portion, with a pair of pliers. So we can take that top cut off the front. And then we'll just have to go back through and readjust everything. And there's a nut and a washer under there, so don't lose the washer. Come on. Pop that guy out. Stick them over there. And go ahead and unplug the plug for the motor. Lose, 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 lose. And then there's uh, four five millimeter Allen head bolts right here. Take those out. And then you can wiggle the entire stuff drop everything. Wiggle all that out. Set these over to the side. Um, and we'll set the, that's the drive shaft that goes in here that connects the two. We'll just go ahead and set that off to the side as well. And screw it from this side just so I don't forget. So now we're down to these little seat mounts. And it's just the two Phillips screws in the front. And then the plastic cover here pops off. And there's your stripped out gear. And then this one, somebody's threaded a bolt into the end here. That's not supposed to be there. We've got new end caps in the Gamma VD kit that we'll replace this with. And then there's 
washers and spacers in here. Just make sure you don't lose those. This one's gonna be pretty easy to replace because the gear is actually already broken. So we can just pry it off. Come on, well, it looked like it was gonna be easy. Normally you'd stick these in a vise or something with a socket behind them to, to crunch them out. So you're left with this metal splined uh, little drive shaft thing that we're gonna press the new Gamma VD gear onto. So let me, I've found the easiest way to do these is to put the nylon gears in uh, just a cup of water and heat them up in the microwave for like a minute. That gets them nice and soft and they'll stretch over onto, uh, onto the shaft nice and easily. So let me, I'm gonna go heat this up uh, and I'll be right back and we'll set up and press this on. Yo, those are hot. Okay, <laughs> so we've got our gear. Um, we've put it in hot water. We're gonna put a socket uh, that fits the uh, small diameter of the drive shaft. And we're gonna use three hands. I'm gonna line this up. And we're just gonna slowly work that gear. Although this one's going crooked. There we go. Just need a little tap. We'll just press that on till it's centered. And now we're ready to start putting everything back together. Um, sometimes you'll get a bunch of plastic built up in there. Um, if it's bad, you can stick a razor blade to it and uh, take it off. So let me move you back over to the seat and we'll start re- Okay, so now you can just take your new pressed on gear and drop it down into the housing. Sometimes it takes some wiggling. And then just stick the top clamshell on. Just make sure that you have all the spacers, washers, everything in the direction where you took them off. And I totally lost my screwdriver. putting the screws back in the housing there. Now we can grab the rest of our assembly. And we can stick this drive shaft bit back in and thread that on. Same thing with the other side. those back in the hole except I just did that backwards. And I did that backwards and upside down. There we go. That's better. So we'll uh, stick these guys, the five millimeter Allen back in here. Zip 
them in. Go ahead and plug our seat motor in before I forget. And then on the seat rails, I like to, you can spin them while they're off. I like to adjust them so that they're snugged against here. That way I know, um, I know they're gonna be even when I put the tracks back together. And I just put these bolts in prematurely. I need those out so we can wiggle those. Try this again. There we go. So we can wiggle that drive shaft in. And then same thing. I've adjusted this one to the same length. So stick that in there. Loosely line that guy up. Now we can put those front five millimeter bolts in. And then that drive shaft rod pushes on the cap bolt in here. We'll stick that back together. I am not doing a good job today. I left a washer sitting here. After I said, don't leave washers off. <laughs> it's been a long day. Luckily, we're not too far along. We can wiggle this guy back out. Come on. Put the washer back on. And stick it back in. There we go. Now, hopefully, for the final time, we will put these bolts in. There we go. And now, we can just hook our seat track bolts up. We can zip those in. Now we can put a spacer and a nut back on the front of each of these. those we're going to tighten with a ratchet not the uh, impact and again we're going to hold the drive shaft with a pair of pliers because if you spin this one this is what the gear is riding against and if it spins against the motor you can break your brand new gear uh, yeah I've done that before and then you get to start all over so we'll just snug those up go and we can just come back here and put the little retainers on the back
somebody. He's got one wrong screw in here. So let's figure out where the right one went. Uh, or figure out where they had that wrong screw. I'm guessing it's this tab up here that's broken. Yeah, it looks like that's the one they hooked. So I'm going to see if I can find another one of these small screws. Actually, that's the one they hooked the threads on. So we'll put the right one down here. Booger threaded one. Yeah, that's what they did. They had this one in this hole. Still stick that back in there. Snug all these up. Make sure our seat brackets look roughly aligned. Um, and there you go. Uh, we just got to drop it back in, plug it in, and make sure it all works. Um, every now and then, you'll have to mess if you get these out of uh, alignment you'll have to go in and mess with the tracks uh, get them lined back up and i almost forgot we're going to put our plastic end cap in here to replace that weird bolt that was up there and those just lightly screw in in the top just to keep that bracket from going back and forth okay so now it's ready to go back up in the truck and test Okay, so we've got the seat back in the truck. Um, I forgot to mention while we were doing the reassembly, we showed putting together the gear for one side of the seat. On the other side with the motor, there was another gear in there that we pressed onto the shaft off camera. Uh, just wanted to make sure you know that there's two, uh, two in there to make the seat go. And it goes now. So we were successful. Uh, I also forgot to show putting that front cover panel back on, just two screws. Um, so yeah, now the seat's in, now it's done. Uh, hopefully that was interesting. Uh, sorry about all the back and forth with the uh, drive shafts underneath. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, but if you liked what you saw, uh, please subscribe below and we'll see you next time. Thanks.